Hey guys, it's a crazy Halloween. I have one tutorial up already and this is my second tutorial. This is the more glamorous, weekend friendly. If you took away the webs, you'd be perfectly fine to like go out on a regular like evening event. Anyway, this is my purple spider web look. Stay tuned and see how I got this look. So happy Halloween ladies. Okay, so we're starting off with a fresh face. My name is Lei for those of you who are new. Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, so if you are new to my channel, I would love for you to do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. I am really trying to grow over here and I post three videos a week or at least I attempt to. Um, I'm really trying to grow over here on YouTube, trying to make a living here. Um, if you also want to support me, I would love it if you would follow me on my social media, which I have Twitter and Instagram. So follow those and we're good to go. So I filmed this really early in the morning and yeah. Right, so we're gonna start by priming our face. Right here I'm using the Maybelline and my 4th Ray Beauty Elixir and Rose Milk. This is my favorite moisturizer for underneath foundation and that's why I'm using it today. So I'm going in with my Maybelline. This is like, what is this? I guess it's like their Super Stay something. It really helps to illuminate your skin as well as give you, you know, pores, no more. So I'm going to do one eye and my brows off camera and I also concealed underneath my eyes. It's very purple and I had to put my hair up. So I'm going in with using the Morphe um, Jaclyn Hill palette and also the Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty Smoky palette as well as the Zulu palette. So I have quite a bit quite a few palettes in here already so right now I'm using that black out of the Huda Beauty Smoky palette and I'm creating my shape you guys know that I love to create a shape first so right here I'm just doing so I'm creating the shape using padding motions and small sweeping motions and now I'm taking my Morphe M507 brush it's the 507 it's the one that's pointed and I'm adding that purple right above the blended black this is a technique I've seen a lot. I'm not sure how I like it yet, but as you can see, it gives you a really nice gradient effect. So right here, I'm going from black to purple now. Honestly, right here, you can add a really nice shimmer shade to the lid and you have a completely different look. But if you look closely, you see how it's a beautiful gradient effect from black to the darker purple to the lighter blended out purple going all the way up to the brow bone. Now I'm just gonna cut the crease, which honestly, if you think about it, this isn't really necessary because the purple that's going on the lid is pretty dark in itself. So it's not really necessary to do this step, but I did it anyways. So now I'm going in with that dark purple. This is the deepest purple out of the Bling Boss palette from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Volt. I really like it. And um, I know there was a lot of speculation about this palette and a lot of controversy surrounding this palette but honestly it works really well for me and I guess that's all that matters. So now inside of the Jaclyn Hill palette there is this really pretty color called Gem. The um, darker purple is Berry Treasure and then I'm using Gem to brighten it up. Once I have that I can go ahead and do a regular um, wing liner using my an NYX matte liquid liner in black. I've been using this a lot lately, probably in all of my last few videos, and yeah. So for my eyeliner, I'm going in with the Color Popped Eyeliner. This is in Piggy Bank. It's a really pretty purple. It kind of has like a red hue, so it really kind of gives you like that undead purple look. And then I'm going to smoke out the bottom with a little bit of black and purple mix. So now I'm taking off my tape to give me a nice, clean, crisp, um, sharp liner, and I'm going to blow out my lower lash line. This is why I like to do my concealer first, because it just makes it so that I can do all of my eye at one time. So I'm taking a little bit of the Berry Treasure and just blending out the bottom again. So 
Four lashes, I'm going in with the BYL Cosmetics. These are in the style Fancy, and I'm just placing those lashes on to give me a more completed look. You can just go in with mascara if you would prefer. So for my face, you all saw I primed with the Master Prime Blur and Illuminate Primer. So for foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. This is in the shade 3. 332 Golden Caramel. I'm starting off with the brush and then I'm finishing it off using my Juno sponge. This is the blue sponge. This is about six bucks. If you have the Beauty Blender, switch over. I'm trying to tell you it'll change your life. It, I really like legit see a difference. So to um, set everything, I'm using my Cover FX um, translucent powder. I'm trying to stop saying um so much, but you have to forgive me. I'm working on my speech. So I'm placing that in all of the areas that I need highlighted or to set highlighter. And then I'm going in with my NARS Casino Bronzer. This is actually one of my favorite bronzers of all time. It works really well in the winter time for me because it has a cool tone look but it also has a hint of warmth so that it works for my complexion and it doesn't look like, you know, casket brown. I'm sorry, I was watching a movie while I was doing this. So now I'm getting rid of all of the highlighted powders and then I'm going to go in with blush. For my blush, I am using the Burt's Bees, sorry I have my heater on, these, these, my Burt's Bees Toasted Cinnamon Blush with Bamboo. This is again by Burt's Bees, you can get this at any, you can actually get this at the grocery store, they do have it there, I've seen it, not just Trader Joe's like CVS and um, Safeway and stuff like that. I've actually seen it in the grocery stores. So for highlighter, I'm going in with my Milk Supernova highlighter and then I'm going to top it off by using my Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlight in the shade Sweetest Bing? Sweetest Bling. Ugh, what am I talking about? So now you could leave it like this or if you wanted to add your spider webs, I advise to use like an eyeliner and just kind of go over it very lightly to create your spider web. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm doing a couple of lines, pulling it out towards. All I'm doing is doing some straight lines coming out towards my temple. And then you're going to connect those lines by doing like little U's or like swoops, <laughs> if you will. And I do that all the way down until it looks like a complete spider web. Now doing it with the eye pencil it's it I don't know how to explain it it kind of looks weird like it's like okay I can see the spider web but I can't but then to intensify it you're gonna go in with either an eyeliner if that's all you have like a liquid liner or like for me I used um, face paint so on this eye, I kind of did like a little spider web coming down and then I'm going over those lines with face paint. Using the eyeliner makes it so that if I did make a mistake, it'd be a little easier to cover as opposed to going straight in with the face paint and knowing that like if I mess up with the face paint, it's going to smudge, it's not going to look good. I really can't go over it to fix it. So I'm going to speed through this and I'm just making my little spider and boom, feeling myself. So I'm going to set that using my air spun powder. This just makes it so it doesn't smudge as much. And then I'm going to do my other web off camera very quick. And I have a small snippet of this. It will be on my Instagram because, you know, it's fun. I know by that time it will be like November, but whatever. I put in the work. So for my lips, I'm going in with Caviar. This is a MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick. I am going to do my entire upper lip and then I'm going to line my bottom lip and I'm going to go in with um, this purple liquid lipstick by Colored Rain. It is called Rain Fever and that's going to go pretty much just on my bottom lip but once I blot my lips together it's going to mix in with the black and it just gives it a little bit of dimension. And then that completes this look. I really hope you all enjoyed these two looks that I put up for Halloween. Thank you so much to everyone who has followed and supported my channel. If you would like to continue to support my channel or if you are new, I'd appreciate it if you would share my videos with others and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media so that we can become a beauty family. And until next year, happy Halloween.